Nah, what is this nigga saying to Dasfo? Nah, 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 nah. Let's talk about Dame in the playoffs. Nah, nah. I find it crazy that good scores have to go against bad defenses for them to be valid. Yeah, yeah, Sage, you're kind of exposing us. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, bro. Yeah, I'm on timing, nigga. I'm 15 toes down with my list, nigga. I ain't changing shit. And until y'all show me something good, I ain't changing shit. Dame not top 10. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hawks won Lonzo. I don't fuck with the Hawks won Lonzo, but talk to me. Dame top 10 at least. Well, he's obviously not, right? Who, who's out, who's out your 10? Who's out your 10? Y'all saying Dame top 10, who's out your 10? Is Nikola Jokic out your 10? Is Luka Doncic out your 10? Joel Embiid out your 10? Anthony Davis? James Harden? Y'all y'all are really downplaying how good this NBA shit is, my nigga. Y'all are really downplaying how good Kawhi. <laughs> I look, man. Look, 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 look. I get it. I get it. I get it. We we can we can size the shit out of we can size Dame all we want. Did a nigga just say Dame better than Kawhi Leonard? No, nah, no, nah, I ain't laughing at Giannis. I ain't laughing at Giannis. I know it seemed like I'm laughing at Giannis. No, no, no. I just seen the comment. A nigga said Dame is better than Kawhi Leonard. Look, man. I hate that nigga with a passion. Not as a person, but just as, you know, I'm a fucking Lakers fan. No. He's not been in Kawhi Leonard. Dame, Dame over Luka is a W. All right, so let's talk about Dame and Luka right now. Damian Lillard's an elite scorer of the basketball. Fair enough. He's an improved playmaker. Not elite. Improved. The nigga got better at doing it. That don't make him elite at doing it. Luka. He's still an elite scorer, even though I do give that edge to Dame. He's also one of the best creators in the league. He's also one of the best playmakers in it. He's not an elite playmaker. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. We're just throwing elite around for fun. If Dame's an elite playmaker, shut the fuck up. Luka checks off every other box better than Damian Lillard. See, chat, I can't, I can't argue with a chat that lies, bro. Look, I'm not, I don't care if we disagree. That's perfectly fine. But when niggas are starting to say, niggas starting to call Damian Lillard an elite playmaker, this is where we're like, all right, why are we lying? Ricky Rubio over Kyrie Irving? No, he's not. And it's not just crown eating, all right, all around ability. Nigga, they're like five point, three point margin. Put, put your yellow one down, my boy. And then 99 gonna put the arrow like, oh yeah, he's spitting facts. Nah, nigga. Yeah, that was some dumb ass shit you said out your mouth. Or you typed it. You, you really sitting there on stream, picked up your computer, your phone or whatever, and you typed, all right, so Ricky Rubio is better than Kyrie because you said it's all around player. That was stupid. That was stupid, my nigga. Anyway, this is what the fuck I'm saying right here. Nigga shoots 11 threes a night. This nigga's insane. Uh -huh. Nah, this nigga Damian Lillard is insane. Damian Lillard is a better score. Nobody disagrees. Even though Luka's more efficient inside the arc, the nigga that shoots 11 threes a game on almost a 40% clip and averages 30, he's a better score. Nobody disagrees with that. However, if you think this margin is far off, you're an idiot. That's number one. Number two, Luka Doncic obviously can check off more boxes. He's a better passer. The numbers show that. As well as looking on the court, Luka Doncic is a significantly better passer than Damian Lillard. It's not. It's nothing to debate so far. Now let's get into something debatable. You want to know why I have Luka over Dame? Outside of pure talent? Let's say fuck it. The talent level's even and we're just going to argue to the eternal takes a hell, right? Y'all want to know how bad Dame is in the playoffs? Nah, what is this nigga saying to Dasfo? Nah, 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 nah. Let's talk about Dame in the playoffs. Nah, nah. What we doing that's for? Nah, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, what's going on, niggas? Niggas, what's going on, niggas? Niggas, the niggas doing dots. Oh, oh, hey, hey, double D, this is insane. Oh, okay, okay. One bad series, one bad series, one bad series. Final answer, bet. Rookie debut against Houston. Let's go series by series. Playoff debut against Houston. Sorry, I said rookie debut. Nigga went dummy. They won in six. Wayne and Willard, nigga. One good series. Loses to the Spurs in five. Gets his ass kicked, but he's, you know, he's a rookie. He's a rookie. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's new. He new. It, I mean, not a rookie, but he's new. It's, it's okay. Got his ass whooped by the Spurs who proceeded to win by a finals marching. Nobody's mad at that, okay? 
Nobody's mad at that. It, it's bad. It counts, but I ain't mad at it. Let's move on to 2015 against Memphis. 21 points on 20 shots. Shooting 16% from the arc to Memphis. Let's move on. Against the Clippers. 22 points on 37% shooting. 34 from behind the arc. Oh, but they won in six. So let's see how they won in six, right? I ain't say Memphis was bad. And you know what's crazy, chat? You know what's crazy about the niggas that saying Memphis is good, Spurs were good, niggas is good. I find it crazy that good scores have to go against bad defenses for them to be valid. But if they go against a good defense, oh, that team was really good. Bitch, you were scoring in a bucket. I love I love that shit, chat. I really love that shit, bro. He's an elite scorer in the league, but then he goes against an elite defender in the league. Looks like a come up, and it's like, oh, well, um, well, um, yeah, shit, they're a really good defensive team, bro. Nigga, maybe he's not that good of a scorer, because I don't see any series where, I, especially any further, there might be, you might catch KD lacking one or two. If we gonna look him up, we can look him up. You might catch KD lacking in one or two series. I don't give a fuck in NBA history. There ain't no motherfucking embarrassing Kevin Durant. It don't happen. It's levels to this shit, my nigga. But let's move on, though. Let's find out how they beat the Clippers in six, even though Damian Lillard was ass. Let's let's see what happened. Ho. Hey, CJ. Ho. And you know what? I'm not even gonna waste your time. This is a pattern. This is a pattern, chat. Yeah, yeah, Sage, you're kind of exposing us. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, bro. Yeah, I'm on timing, nigga. I'm 15 toes down with my list, nigga. I ain't changing shit. And until y'all show me something good, I ain't changing shit. I didn't compare him to the greatest score of all time, you crowning bastard. All I was giving is an example of how when niggas a bucket, a certified bucket, you don't question that shit. But with Damian Lillard, oh, he's an elite scorer, but he can't score against elite defenders. Yeah, I'm on timing, nigga. First two games, dog water. Don't even need to click them. Dog water. Let's look at Damian Lillard in the f and let's look at CJ McCollum in the four wins against the Clippers. Average 23 points. On 47% shooting and 44 from the behind arc. That nigga outplayed Damian Lillard and won the series. That's crazy. Let's go game by game. Just for the fuck of it, let's go game by game. So Damian Lillard, he, he did his thug thizzle in game three. He had five turnovers on two assists, but you know, let's, uh, <laughs> you know, he shot the ball well. Bravo, bravo, bravo. I let him rock, even though he had five turnovers and two assists. He, he, he scored well. I let him rock. I'd be biased as shit if I held somebody else to that standard. You could probably find a game in which somebody else had more turnovers than assists, but had like 40. 12 points! 15 shots! 37 minutes! 12 points! Points, but they win this game. You wanna know why they win this game? Cuz Al Farouk fucking Aminu dropped 30! Alan Crabb gave you 12 off the bench on perfect shooting. Let's move on to the next game. Ha! Huh. Damian Lillard. <laughs> 20 shots, 22 points. He shot 5 of 10 from the three-point line though. Shot 7 of 20 from the field, but he made five, he made fucking five threes. You know, in the in the modern era, that is that's ass fuck. Mo Harkless gave him 19. Mason Plumley gave him 10 and 11, 10 and 15. Alfred Gaminu gave you 7 and 8. Alan Crabb gave you 11 off the bench. Gerald Henderson gave you 10 and 5. CJ McCollum gave you 27. Crazy. Final game of the series. Closeout game. Double D's on fucking timing. Double, thank you, Double D. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy a nigga said it before I even showed it. They beat them niggas by three points. Didn't have Blake or CP3. We're talking about right now. Oh, no, pizza. Oh, no, 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 no. We're getting to right now. <laughs> you think it gets better? You think this shit gets better? Oh, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Hey, hey, pizza. That's crazy. You think it's going to get better over time. <laughs> That's insane, my nigga. <laughs> wait, yeah, facts. Wait till 2018. Wait till 2019. Yeah, it gets better, my nigga. Trust me. Trust me. Damian Lillard gets better as a talent. Facts. Uh huh. Gets better. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Let's just move on, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna just say it, though. Hell yeah, game's still better. Game right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. I'd be mad, too. So let's go on to Golden State. He kind of fucked them niggas up. April Fools. <laughs> Nigga saw this mouse go over 31. It was like, oh yeah, dang, dang time. Fuck no. This nigga shot the ball 25 times and gave you 32 points. This nigga shot 8 of 26, 8 of 20, 9 of 30, and 7 of 24. What can you do against a healthy Clay and Curry? That's interesting. That's interesting you said that. Uh-huh. Oh no, 
no, no, no. Double D, you spoiling. Hey, Double D. Double D, you spoiling, bro. Chill. Bro, Double D, bro. Get shut your ass up, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> They didn't have curry! <laughs> curry ain't saw him! They didn't have him! He didn't play! <laughs> Them niggas went down 2-1 to Harrison Barnes, Draymond Green, and oh! Huh! The guy I overrated. Huh, we can look at that. It's almost like Klay Thompson's gonna score points regardless. How I'm over here arguing why Dame's lower and my Klay point gets better. That's just crazy. Being up 2-1 on Damian Lillard. Huh. Remember Leandro Barbosa five minutes from y'all pack. Cause y'all pack, y'all pack is fucking wildin'. Y'all remember Leandro Barbosa, dog? All right, but back to smoking y'all pack. So Klay Thompson shoots like this and you lose the game. Dame went the fuck off this night. <laughs> no cap, game three, Dame went the fuck off. And the rest of them, we don't even need to, you know what I'm saying? Let, let's just go, let's just go next series. So Damian Lillard, you know, the, the guy that shoots better than Steph Curry, shot 28% from three. 23 is a game. That's crazy. Oh, let's move on, bro. I don't even want to. I don't even want to waste time. Four series now, which Damian Lillard has underperformed to Damian Lillard standards. I'm not even asking this nigga to be better. Four series now where this nigga has underperformed compared to one good rookie series he had in the first round. The Pelicans. <laughs> do y'all want me to do this? <laughs> That nigga got swept by Anthony Davis like shit, boy. <laughs> that nigga got swept. Hey, no cap, Jimmy would never. <laughs> hey, y'all boo. I might have slept on Jimmy. Jimmy would never do that. <laughs> Hey, Slum, this Dame pack is wild, bruh. Compares numbers to Drew. Okay, bet. Bet, 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 I got you. <laughs> Twenty-eight points on fifty-seven percent shooting. Twenty-eight points on fifty-seven percent shooting. Oh my God! You know what's good? I just said elite scores don't get dropped off because they're elite scores. I stand the fuck corrected. Pardon me. Chat was all bitching when I said Luca's better than Dame. Chat was going crazy. Then it became split, and now it's up. And, and now it's just up. But you know what's crazy though? When we get finished through all of this shit, niggas still gonna be like, oh well, um, still think Dame's better. Yeah, I know, bro. So what is that? Seri five, five series, four series. I'll recount them. Don't worry about it. Okay, see. Don't need to waste time. Dame time, Dame time, Dame time. Everything about this series, that nigga got it, bro. Close out game, he dropped 50 points, 17 to 33. 10 of 18 from three, hit one of the most legendary shots we've ever seen. That's his second good series, and in fact, he elevated his play in that. Let's move on to Denver. I remember this series vividly. I remember Nikola Jokic getting exhausted, and them niggas were only winning one of the games. I forgot which game it was, but they only won, I believe it was game three. Yeah, game three, because Nikola Jokic couldn't fucking breathe. It went to four overtimes. Nikola Jokic couldn't breathe. Nigga shooting a free throw <gasps> he couldn't fucking breathe they won that game off of stamina <laughs> well okay um you know 25 points on 40 percent shooting uh 28 from three but you know dame shoots better than curry and uh six assists on three turnovers you know dame shit right how did cj do in that series huh do my eyes deceive me game one dame time yeah Shot bad from three, but you know, I'm not ever going to discredit 39 fucking points. Had a 26 and seven from cancer as well, though. My God. Game two. Um, Is this defense too good for you? Is this defense too good? Was they just too good? No, no, no. Because Dame has to drop off come ups. He has to. He. It's only fair if Damian Lillard scores against bad defenders. Is this defense good enough? Is this too good for you, my nigga? Low-key last year, if Dame played the... What in hell makes you think that? 
What in hell makes you think the Blazers would have beat the Clippers? This is why I be talking about, bro. Stop. In what you know? What? That's not. It's not even. See, I'm about to stop. I'm about to end the video, bro. I'm about, I'm about to just stop. If I didn't want to get to 2019, I'd end it right there. Because now niggas is lying to themselves, bro. It's not. It's not fun. That that wasn't fun. That, that, that I don't have fun arguing that. I don't. The injured Trailblazers are going to beat the the healthy Clippers. You you think that? Fine. Ka Ka Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are gonna lose to Damian. <laughs> yeah. Sage wants Dame on the Lakers. I ain't gonna lie. I would love Dame on the Lakers. Dislocated his finger in game two. Oh my bad. My bad. Sorry. 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 We're counting the finger. We're counting the finger, boo boo. I feel you. A hundred percent Dame. Two hundred percent Dame. Clippers in six. Clippers in five. Honestly. Uh, if if you think that, if y'all if y'all niggas think that, real shit, real shit, real shit. If y'all think that, I honestly may just stop to arguing with y'all niggas after this. I know y'all be trolling sometimes, but if y'all dead ass think the Blazers would beat the fucking Clippers, I, I may I may have to legitimately start taking notice of who talks and just start ignoring niggas. Um, anyway. Ha. Huh. Ha, ha. Did everyone play out of their ass outside of Alfred Gamino, who had 6 and 12? I mean, damn, he ain't scoring the ball, but 6 and 12 is insane. But unless my eyes deceive me, outside of Seth Curry, Zach Collins, and Damian Lillard, everyone else played out their ass this series. But you know, Dame time got him past the Nuggets. He sound toxic as shit, but he's spitting facts. So that is series number five or six, because I lost count at this point, where Dame has underperformed in two series in which Dame was good. We talk about dislocated fingers, right? <laughs> we just said, hypothetically, Dame doesn't dislocate his finger, and he beats the Clippers. Let's see what Curry did with his injured team, the Blazers with his dislocated finger. All right, chat, it was a good stream, bro. It was a good stream. Um, W debates, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, it was a good, it was a good stream. It was a good, you know? Hey. Yeah. Damn. Dame, you're right. Dame was never over Curry. Y'all said that shit, though. But that's not even my point with this. My point is, you could argue a roster which Enos Cantor, Mo Harkless, Alfred Gamino, Rodney Hood, Seth Curry, Zach Collins, Evan Turner versus a hobbled Warriors team. Clay Thompson wasn't, I know he didn't tear his fucking knee, but he was hurt in this series. I, I, know, I know Clay Thompson didn't just end his fucking career, but he was hurt in this series. Draymond Green, I believe, had a little nicks up, but not, I'm not even gonna count all them shits. You know, Bogut being the primary rim protection of the series. You could argue that Blazers team was deeper <laughs> than that Warriors team, right? You could argue that it came down to Steph Curry and Clay Thompson versus CJ McCollum and Damian Lillard. Now let's see what Dame does. That's my point. I'm not arguing Dame over Curry. I'm saying how the fuck do you get swept in that situation? How the fuck do you shoot this bad in that situation? Someone explain it to me? Anybody? Hello? Hello? Nani? Chat, chat move was slow now. Oh, oh, fuck. See, most streamers see their chat moving slow and they get, oh, fuck, my, my stream's dying. No, no, no. I'm shutting you niggas the fuck up. Fight back, nigga. Oh, fuck, no. We got one more. Because if Dame and CJ get hot, oh, you know, he should Shot good from three. He shot good from three. Based off of literally reacting to every playoff game the Lakers did, we all know I watched these games. So riddle me this motherfucker. Outside of shooting 40 footers at random moments in time and then game one the Ming effective, what did Dame do in the series? His niggas brought up a fucking finger. So hopefully we get the gist of what I'm trying to say. Do I trust Luka more in the playoffs? Yes. Oh, let's talk about Luka's first round exit. Sure. Let's talk about Luka's first round exit because, you know, we just went over the compilation of Damian Lillard being a fantastic player in the playoffs. Let's talk about Luka Doncic's uh, playoff. Let's talk about it. And what the fuck do you want to talk about? What the absolute fuck do you want to talk about? This nigga averaged 31, 9, and 10. What the fuck do you want to talk about? Didn't play bad at all. Not even a little bit. 
at no point in time against Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Patrick Beverly, Montrezl Harrell, a, a perimeter defensive team. Kawhi Leonard, y'all, y'all love to boost Kawhi over Curry because of his all-time defense. 31. Paul George, third place DPOI candidate at one point in time in his career. 31 points. Patrick Beverly, I, the fucking Rottweiler that shuffles his feet, but a prolifically known great defender. 31 points. I'm not saying Montrezl Harrell's a lockup by no stretch of the mean. He's not as elite as Patrick Beverly, Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard. Thank God they weren't on the same team. Oh, shit, they were. But Montrezl Harrell being a guy that can play off of the role, off of the pick and roll and pick up Luka Doncic? That's very possible, my nigga. Marcus Morris? Oh, shit. That's a good defender. A very perimeter-eccentric defensive team. This nigga did this without Kristaps Porzingis. Did y'all forget that? Oh, shit. Z said it before I did. Z, you spoiling ass bitch, too. So, double D cools down and you spoil what I'm gonna say. Luka Doncic arguably had a better series in his first series ever against a way better team outside of 2017 Warriors. Luka Doncic against by far and wide the best, better playoff composition is especially when you factor a team that's supposed to shut you down than Dame ever had and outplayed it. Without Kristaps Porzingis, he went to six games. If KB doesn't get hurt, who doesn't think that goes to seven? Dame went to a the Western Conference Finals. We just talked about that. This is what I be saying. Some of y'all niggas is just no help with y'all niggas, bro. Some of y'all niggas is just real life. Do, uh, like my nigga, some of y'all is just helpless. Some of y'all is just dead ass helpless. We just talked about how this nigga was not the best blazer in Denver. And then we talked about how he stunk it up in said Western Conference Finals. And this niggas is still talking about, oh, he made the Western Conference Finals. Some of y'all niggas is just like, bro, I can't help some of you niggas, bro. Do I trust Luka more in the playoffs than this nigga? Yes, of course I do. That's basically what the fuck I'm saying. This notion that Dame Lillard is the most clutch player in the league, you could argue it in a game-by-game -game situation. But if you told me it was a whole playoff series, what, who is one man I trust down the stretch? It's not Damian Lillard. I don't even trust him more than Chris Paul. Is it the paper, the moolah, the haters, the rumors, the leaked news of me and your shorty and Kama Sutra? I might just shoot you, guns blazing, my little Ruger. It's not a blooper, in the Honda I just maneuver. Italian spot where they serve my fettuccine. Make sure my linguine super steamy and not too creamy. Toasty panini, couple bites of tortellini. I'm feeling dreamy, phone buzzing, she wanna see me. On my way to the bitty, you know the vibes roll. My drip is hydro, big waves up in my Tado. I'm in a Tahoe, big body Uber on Tom Ho. While me and my driver talking bullshit, smoking tobacco. 